This is the book of Matthew, chapter 13 and verse 16. And it says it reads, but blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. All right. Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. All right. Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. All right. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor and all glory unto Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Recha Kodash. All right. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give a uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the like I can, you know, that's pushing his word and our uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in his truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness, you know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And our Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Recha Kodash. You know, uh, Adawan Rathaza, you know, that means Lord willing. Also, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation Israel, you know. And my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Recha Kodash. You know, it's going to be basically on bless our, you know, the elect eyes, you know. Lord willing, we are part of that elect number. You know, the, us brothers and a uh, few sisters that have the understanding are right, the Holy Spirit, you know, the Harakak or Das. All right. To understand the scriptures, man, and to understand these prophecies and understanding the will of the Heavenly Father, which the Heavenly Father, his name is Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shah. All right. That's who the world ignorantly called God and Jesus Christ. You know, we're blessed to have those names. All right. Which that's also me a gift of faith. All right. That the Most High gave to the true believers. This is the book of Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8. It says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of the Most High. All right, so this truth, all right, this gift of faith, all right, is a gift from, from the Most High, Yahweh Shai. All right, he's only dealing with the elect. This is the book of Romans chapter 11, verse 7. It says, What then? It says, uh, Let's, let's, uh, let's start at verse 5. Romans 11 verse 5 it says even even so then at this present times at this present time so like you know, also there is a remnant according to the grace of election so there's a remnant all right let's read the NLT it is the same it is the same today for a few it says for a few of the people of Israel have remained faithful because of the most high's mercy all right let's like it remain faithful because of the most high's grace his un his under it's like his his unserved kindness like it his undeserved kindness in choosing them all right because this is the will of Yahweh by Shai. all right so it's only a remnant a small number let's read it in uh KJV it's like it this is the book of Romans chapter 11, verse 6. It says, And if by grace, then is it no more of works? Otherwise, grace is no more of grace. But if it be of works, then it is no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. Because why? This is ultimately I, the, the will of Yahweh by Shema Shai. For by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourselves. All right, it's get the most high, most high. Least any man shall boast. All right, let's read that again. But let's read the NLT. It says, and since it is through the most high's kindness, then it is not by their good works. For in that case, the most high grace would not be what it is, what it really is, free and unreserved. So it's all about, you know, the most high's grace. But what? Through through our faith, well, you're going to do the works, man. All right. You're going to give diligence to make your call and election sure. Romans 11 and verse 7 says, What then Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election have attained it, and the rest were blinded. So the elect understand, but the rest are blinded, so they can't see. Verse 8, according as it is written, the Most High had given them the, the spirit of slumber. All right, these are the unbelievers of Israel, because the Lord said he showed his word unto Jacob, his law, his law statute commandments unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any nation any nation that's for the judgment they have not known them praise you the lord so the lord reveals his word unto is to us israelites which the israelites are you so-called negroes latinos and native americans all right also the israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nation that lineage go back 
to the 12 tribes according to their fathers. All right, we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, and the Lord showed his word unto us, but not all Israel are going to understand, only the elect. All right? So what? He gave them a sleep of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear until this day, until this very day, July, July 1st, 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's shovel. It says, and David says, let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see and bow down their back always. So what? Our people are not going to see. This truth is going to be a snare unto them. That's why our Lord Yahweh Shah said, bless are your eyes. Matthew chapter 13. In verse. I started verse 9. It says, who have ears to hear, let them hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, why speakest thou unto them in parables? Because right, the Lord was speaking his parables, verse 11. And he answered and said unto them, It is because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. All right, the secrets only belong unto the remnant of Israel. All right, it belongs unto them. The mystery of the kingdom, I read again, it says, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of, kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. It's not given unto them. This book of Ephesians. This Ephesians, uh, bear with me. Uh, ages. Colossians. I'm gonna get Colossians, and I'm gonna get um, Ephesians three. This is the book of Colossians chapter 1 verse 25 says, Wherefore I am made a minister according to the dispensation of the Most High, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of the Most High. Even the mystery which have been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. And who are the saints? So this truth was hidden, but now is made manifest to the saints. And the saints are the Israelites. All right. And the mainly the elect of Israel now. Ephesians chapter 2. I started at verse 1. Ephesians, like Ephesians chapter 3, verse 1. It says, For this cause I, Paul, a prisoner of Yahweh Shabbat, for the Gentiles, meaning the Israelite foreigners that was taking on the custom, that was uh practicing the heathens of the uh, of the I mean the customs of the heathens. Alright, they became Hellenized. Alright, Greeks. Alright, because why you read the book of Maccabees, Antiochus, he made laws and Decrees that it was no, it was it wasn't lawful for us to keep our customs and call ourselves a Jew, and you would get killed for that. So what was I calling our people? I, so like, what would our people call themselves? Uh, Greeks. They was taking on the customs. It says if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of the Most High, which is, which is, given me to you, word, verse three. How that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery. As I wrote afore in few words, whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Hamashiach. Because our Lord Yahweh spoke to Paul personally. He told him that he, well, he's going to have to suffer, but he's going to be, uh, he gonna be um, sent to this Gentile, a vessel sent to this Gentiles. All right, of the uncircumcision. And uh, Apostle Peter was a, a minister to the circumcision. You know, it says verse five, it says, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men at is at as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by spirit. It's like, but now is revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the by the spirit, meaning the Harakako Dash. So it's, it wasn't all right. Revealed, but now it's being revealed in these times. This is the book of Romans chapter 16. <laughs> Romans chapter 16 and verse 24 it says, The grace of our Lord Yahweh Mashiach be with you all, Amon. Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, um, according to the revelation of the mystery which was kept secret since the world began, but now is made manifest by the scriptures of the prophets, according to the commandment of the everlasting power, made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. 
which all nations went known to all the Gentiles everywhere, the, the Gentiles that were scattered. All right, because this truth is not for for all nations, only for Israel. It says to the most high only wise be glory through Yahweh Shah Mashiach forever. I'm all to all. All right, so this truth has been hidden, but now it's made manifest unto the saints. All right. I'm gonna go back to that Matthew 13. This is the book of um, John. John chapter 14 and verse 17. It says, Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be with you. So the spirit of truth is not for everybody. It's only for the elect. All right? First John chapter 4 verse 6 says, We are of the Most High. He that knoweth the Most High, so, yeah, he that knoweth the Most High heareth us. He that is not of the Most High heareth not us. Hereby we know... So I hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. All right. So what? We have the spirit of truth. These other people have the spirit of error. Because why? They don't understand the, the, the prophecy. They don't understand the RFID chip with Shemar of the Beast. They don't understand that the Most High is, is only dealing with Israel, the elect of Israel, not all Israel. All right. That these heathens are going into slavery. All right. That the kingdom of heaven is for us. All right. These are mysteries. And secrets that the Lord revealed unto his servants and prophets. Amos 3 and 7. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 11. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whosoever have, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever have not, from him shall be taken away, even that he has. All right? Because it's all about the will of the Most High. All right, verse 13. Therefore speak I to them in parables. This is red letter, so this is the Lord speaking. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they see and not, because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And, and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which Isaiah the sixth chapter, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear it, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. So our people, they hear us. They see the videos, they, they see the signs, the 12 tribe sign, but they can't fully understand this. The Holy Spirit is not dealing with them to understand this is the truth. And Tawadi al Bashima Shai, that we understand. And Lord, when we continue to fight and continue to have the Holy Spirit on us, as, a, as, a, as our King David said, Lord, take that away, our Holy Spirit. Matthew 13 and 15 says, For this people's heart, meaning their mind, is wax gross. And their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes have they closed. Because they close their own ears. They refuse to hearken. All right? It wasn't mixed with faith. They heard the word just how we heard it, but it wasn't mixed with faith. Faith. It says, at least at any time, they should, hear, they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, meaning their spiritual eyes and ears. And should understand with their heart and should be converted, and I will heal them. So if they understand, the Lord will have to heal them. So the Lord don't want to heal them. The Lord going to kill them majority of our people two-thirds here in america gonna be put to death verse 16 but bless are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear for verily i say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them and to hear those things which ye hear and they have not heard them so what are the righteous men the prophets they always desire to be in these times and what if you understand through reincarnation these are the prophets coming back all right, it's about to see the, the, the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shah. All right, the prophecies are speaking. All right, the, the uh, wars, the rumors of wars, the famine, pestilence, Israel rising up, calling upon the name of the Lord in a pure language, the Lashwan Kadash. All right, he's Esau, he's going down. He's, he, he about to push that RFID check with the mark of the beast. We see the prophecy, so bless our, our eyes, man. All right, bless our, our ears for they see and hear, man. You know, Tawadi Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. You know, so Lord, when this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation Israel, you know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechah Kodash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give all peace and greetings and salutations to all the Lagakim that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Mikeim, keep pushing, keep doing Shalom.